Hello, I'm Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is January 5th of 2017, and I promise this is going to be short and no stories. Uh, oh, I forgot to do my blood sugar this morning. Uh, gonna be, this is going to be short. I was... Uh, Had a where did how did I get here? Oh, there was something that came in the email with a list of different stories, and they had this that popped up: Spartan underwear, and they have men's undershorts to protect. you from cell phone radiation, which may harm your little guys. And so they have this underwear. So I thought, this is bizarre. And I thought, is this a, an old thing that's April Fool's Day? And uh, so then I went over here. Let's see if I can start this over again. I'm not going to play the whole thing for you, though. Hi, I'm Arthur, founder of Spartan. Today, we couldn't think of leaving the house with our phones. We have them with us all day, every day. And you've probably heard how cell phone radiation is a danger to our health. Consider this interview of Dr. Davis. If phones were tested in the pocket, they would actually not be legal. As currently used, if you put a phone in your pocket, you're increasing the radiation into your body dramatically. Men who keep phones in their pockets have reduced sperm count. There's more damage to the DNA on the sperm. And those studies have been done at the Cleveland Clinic wow. and a number of other major institutions around the world. The scary part is that we have no idea of the long-term effects. So we could be facing... So... Uh... Okay. Okay, I'm back, I think. Uh, where was I? That was my ex-wife calling. My son is going to walk up to Captain D's and they want to know what I wanted. And I'm going to get uh, fish, of course. I like Captain D's. Uh, I like the Long John Silvers, but we don't have one within walking distance. So anyway, uh, I went and checked, and this is, uh, when you watch it to the end, they tell you to, see, Amazon, they tell you to buy their underwear, Amazon. Uh, Spartan they tell you to buy their underwear so that they can spend money in order to develop the so it's a, a promotional gimmick uh, whatever I mean fine um, I thought I was going to be able to protect my my baby makers or whatever and I wonder, I wonder how I would look in their, in their underwear, you know? Am I going to look like these guys with their underwear? Hell, with my boobs, I'd look more like this lady. So anyway, that's just, uh, it's not something wrong that they're doing. It's, it, they're trying to be inventive and whatever, but anyway, I got that and I thought, I, I thought it in the beginning that it was, that uh, I checked it out for you. Oh, okay. So that's, we're done with that. Then there's one other thing I want to tell you about. Uh, I watch Twit all the time. In fact, I have it on the Roku TV here. I was watch, I was watching it here. There were several of their shows that I, 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 I go to live a lot of times and just watch what they're doing live. And then I... Uh, hmm. I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Echo Volume Zero. Uh, 
She interrupted me. I ought to go over there and slap the hell out of her for interrupting me. Um, I do not approve of violence against women. Violence against men I approve of. Uh, so anyway, I watch a lot of Twit, and I watch their live production sometimes. And then I watch Android Today, or whatever they call that, and Windows Today, and then some of, sometimes there are other things. Well, they are at uh, CES in Las Vegas, the show that they have out there once a year. That's, so I would, that's something I would love to go to, and because I would like to gamble. But uh, so I was watching it. Well, let me preface this by telling you, and if you have watched my videos, I probably have mentioned in there that I have one, a fear of choking. Uh, two, I have a thing about uh, vomiting because of choking, because until the other, until like a, a, a month ago, few until a few weeks ago, I I could say, and I did say probably in a video that in the 19, early 1970s, uh, Hong Kong flu and something else the next year came through. When the first one came through, whichever one that was, in the early 1970s, I got the flu, sick, and vomited. I have a fear. I don't I have a thing with vomiting. And so I, I know you're, you know, I try to keep from not vomiting, and I was choking on it. I couldn't breathe. <sighs> I thought I was going to die. And so then the next year the flu comes through, and when I get, I need, when I have the, when I'm getting the flu, I'm, oh God, please, I can't vomit, I can't vomit, I can't vomit. And then I had to vomit. I did, and I choked on it again. Because uh, I know you're saying, well, don't, you know, just go ahead and do it. I, it's something I can't control. So after that, 19, from the 1970s, I never vomited or, now there was a few times I, I, I got sick and I had a feeling that I might vomit, you know, over the years, a few times I had, and I actually would uh, be laying in bed, you know, in a cold sweat, not wanting to, you know, I don't want to vomit, I don't want to, you know, afraid that I was going to, I don't want to, I don't want to die that way, I mean, I want to be killed by a a jealous man that thinks that I'm having sex with his beautiful wife, or I'm going to be, or I want to die in my sleepers. I mean, I don't want to have the paramedics come in and say, oh, the guy aspirated on vomit and died. Then people also would think, oh, the guy was a drunk, and he got drunk, and he vomited, and he died, you know. Anyway, I don't want to die that way. So for years, uh, I've a few times worried about it, but I have not vomited until last month, and I forget, I can't remember now what it was. I, if I ate something or what, but I got sick at my stomach in just a little bit. I vomited, so I can't say that I haven't vomited since the 1970s, but so, anyway, I watched Twit. So they're at, uh, and I was I was watching. <laughs> they're walking around. This doesn't show it as bad as it is. Turn the down, so. Let me turn it down all the way. <clears throat> but they're walking. I was watching it. I was also eating at the same time. Some salmon. But I, I was watching it and I thought, man, the camera... Thing. And of course, I had it full screen over here. And I, man, I wish I thought I, I wish the person doing the camera stuff would not be doing all this stuff. I wish they'd just kind of pick a spot and slowly and not be bouncing around like this. But then I was also enjoying, you know, watching, seeing everything, and thinking, why don't they stop at that booth? They, they were there was a robot there. I thought, well, man, why don't they stop and 
I want to know about that robot. I know I can't afford it, but it was a neat looking one. But then I got uh, physically sick. You know, I thought I was going to, right away, I turned off the, uh, I'm going to stop this too. This gives you a little idea of what was going, going out. See with this, you know. I'm going to stop it now. I don't need to get sick to, you know, get sick today. So, warning. They have a uh, chat room that runs all the time. And uh, somebody should go there, or I should go there, or somebody should go there and say, hey. It, it, that's, you know, that's a problem people are having with virtual reality. They put those masks on, and it mess, people get physically are getting sick from that. So, Twitch is making people sick. At least they're making Jim Howard sick in Fort Worth, Texas. That's all I wanted to say. Actually, what I was going, I got interrupted. My son came over, right? I was getting these, this stuff lined up here for you, getting ready to go. He came over and he just left and then I started, I had to send an email for him. He wants to purchase a Dell laptop computer. They got, they got some on sale and he wanted, so he came over to, not to ask my advice, but to show me what he wanted to get. And then he left and then I started this video and then my ex-wife called because he's going to walk up and get some food. I don't mind being interrupted for food anytime. And I'm low on food. I just had some noodles. Uh, one of those cups that you has the dried noodles in it. Then you add an ingredient, some little dried up in a little tiny package, dried up vegetables. I think they were dried up vegetables and uh, you put water and you put it in the microwave for three minutes and then you put in this packet a little tiny flavoring and uh, this thing was expired by a year and I went ahead and ate it I think it could probably be expired by a long time but I just ate that and I was wishing I had some real food and now my son's going to go and get uh, chicken from Captain D's. Thank you very much for, well, wait a minute, I gotta do a pitch or something. What can I do? Well, check out my blog sometime. This is it. That's my pitch. Uh, thank you very much for watching.